Well, what's going on? Why did my scene projector not work properly? There we go. So, we are playing Paper Mario on the Thousand Year Door on the GameCube with like the official wave bird type thing. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna do this Monday mornings, Tuesday mornings, and Wednesday mornings. Uh, <laughs> no, keep giving me the thousand year door. You're so excited for this. Alright, here we go. Yes, create a save file. Really? Oh. The leaf bird is... No, it's the, the power shuts itself off sometimes. So, give it a good push. There we go. Seems to be good. Alright. Here we are. the slow scroll of the arrow selector. Yeah, Paper Mario is probably my favorite Mario games. Close to favorite Nintendo game, but Animal Crossing is too kind to you. That's, that's fair. My progress was saved. Actually, I'm just gonna... Okay, this is gonna look weird for a moment. I apologize. Because I would really like... Hold on. We got this. I'm gonna unlock that. Move that. Right there. So you guys, when you talk, it's going to pop up now. Alright, I, I need a decision made. You have to speak outside. You have to read it. Uh, well, I, I know I have to read it, but am I going to do voices? You want to do voices at 834? It's the only time you're going to be able to get me to do it. Yeah, you can do it every time you play it. Uh, then I gotta remember what voice they have. That's gonna be difficult. Can I remember that from the morning time or not? I, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck it, we're doing it. Worst case scenario, I'll just start reading about it at some point. Mail call! Hey bro, check it out. A, a letter from Princess Peach has arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem. Now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. Will you, of course, won't you? It's because Luigi's reading the letter! <laughs> I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come home. Or when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with a letter. Check it out. 
Oh. Look at that map. I don't know how the hell you can read that, but... Sustained. Straight. Not even chapter one. It's prologue. A rogue's welcome. Oh, I don't even know who this is. Um, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. Town you'd been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Oh. He's kind of pointing out. You see, we'll be arriving shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Very curt and to the point. He's very professional, whoever this boat person is. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a little bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry, you say there's a princess waiting for you here? Is that so? Er, of course, sir. Uh, well, I, if you think that... Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. I don't... Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, yeah, look at that swift turning around. This guy knows what he's doing with the boat. Oh, this music. Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that safe block to save. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. Well, I'm going to kick the bucket. No, we we all know how safe points work. So you hit the thing, and you save. I cannot hear the music you are jamming to, but I ima will imagine it greatly. You can't hear the music. Barely. Barely. Oh, let us fix that. You guys must jam. How's that? That is fantastic. Okay, my voice is good. It's not overpowering everything. All right, I'm getting the thumbs up from Blue, so we're, we're, we're doing it. What do you want, pal, huh? A princess dressed in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyways, pal? You, you owe you money, or is she your girlfriend? Oh. Fucking rude. Hey, what do you want from me? Get away from me, freak! Uh, oh. Okay, it is a girl. <laughs> oh, come on, Fit! No, no, it's the dude. Oh, come on, Fit, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never, I don't have anything to say to you, creeps, you. I suppose it wouldn't be right to if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Boys, we're taking this fire band to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. Oh yeah, I hate these guys. No, no, stop right there, weirdos. I'll scream, really. Time to save the day. I got a hammer. I'm not gonna go anywhere with these smelly lunatics like you. Not likely. What? 
What do you think you're doing, Jump? You think you can screw my plans? God, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumpa bomb. What the hell's a crumpa bomb? We're gonna find out. Can't flee this fight. Deal. Okay, if I'm being picky, I would turn the game down just a little baby bit. Okay. Little tiny baby bit just for Lenoki. Metal time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Okay. Mm, I'm normally better with the, the jumping. Okay. Oh, sorry, I forgot to read that. Okay, I think that's good now. I can clear to hear voice and music. I am pleased. Also, I always found it was better with the hammer. Okay. Got him on the ropes. Keep rolling him. You just press A and he hits you. And it, oh, right, 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 right. There, there's both. Ha! Take it, Crump. You did it! You did it! Yes! Yes, there are points. Yep. Yeah, but you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. Cool. When you get a hundred points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? I got nine. What are you laughing about over there? Are you laughing at my, my nice voice? My lovely voice. My inability to do a high-pitched voice. So it just sounds like a cranky old grandma. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay, you got a couple decent shots in. I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Whoa, what's going on? Who are all these guys? Punish him! It's turned into a WWE cage match. Wait, this way! Hey, what a bunch of looms. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Yeah, let's get out of here. Um, do I go this way? I don't know. That's not a marker for the other way out of the map. Look at them all going. They don't even know I'm gone. Blah. Stop. I can predict that all the ladies will sound the same and it's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Where did they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Uh, crud. They bolted. You totally saved me, thanks. I have just got to give you a little reward. Oh, Mary got a kiss. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean the famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. 
There are freaks and weirdos everywhere! It's nasty! I mean, I know the place is called Roeport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if it weren't for some legendary treasure here. Oh. Well, you're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 Bucko, what you got there? <clears throat> oh man, my voice started to hurt. <laughs> oh my gosh, isn't that a treasure map? You have you have to tell me where you get where you got that. Princess Peach, what? Great Hoogly Boogly. Wait, I don't know who that is. I don't know. Great Hoogly Boogly if it isn't Master Mario. Oh, yeah, it's you. Uh, now I gotta change your voice, because you're like, you're, you're persnickety, you're kind of dapper. So I'll give you some, some British. I guess. Bit of a coin. No, that's not even British. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Bit of a coincidence bumping into another one in this sort of a place, hmm? Ho? Oh? Ho? Oh? So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? There we go, I got something now. Hmm, ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Mm, I was about to ask you that. Yeah, it's more dapper. I, I, I don't know. I don't want to piss people off for like doing an impression of their uh, accent <laughs> and just butchering it. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we will find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. <laughs> I love Mario's, like, facial reactions to things. Because they don't let him talk, so it's just all facial stuff. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP running low. Just drop on in. Ho ho. Anyways, a little rest and we'll fill all your HP. I must say, as though, this, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Um, Princess Peach, did he mean like Peach the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who always gets kidnapped by Bowser, the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Where could she have gone? When? Where do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, 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 I know, Mary, come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show you him your map. We'll show him your map. <laughs> we'll show you him. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great. We're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella has joined your party. Goombella's abilities, a primer. Press X to get information on nearby and people, places, and objects. This is Roeport Plaza. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Uh, anytime you press X, there's no one around. I'll tell you about where we are. That's 
Gunther the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. Well, I mean, if I was getting mugged, I'd probably be complaining too. If you press X, there's somebody nearby. I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Goomba can give you hints when she answers, so ask her for information often. And of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bonk. She can also look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. That's great. I think your first partner in all the Paper Mario games is basically the same. Where it's just, uh, they tell you stuff about the enemies and whatnot. First off, we gotta find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I, um, don't actually know where he lives. So, keep an eye out. You know what the professor frankly looks like. That was a crazy looking guy. Tier 4 between the Pianta Syndicate and the Robos heating up, apparently. Best stay indoors. Okay. Sniff, sniff, you smell that? This smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeedy. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. Professor Frankly? Actually, I think a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Just go east from here. As you enter town from the harbor, just hang a right. So, uh, what about him? Did this guy steal something important from you or what? I think that's kind of what he would sound like. I'm looking for this guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. If you find that jerk, give him a wallet for me. How about I wallop you? You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you about something. How about that? If you press Z, you can check your current HP. I believe you didn't know that. If you have low HP, you ought to go rest in the inn so you can recover. Use your head. Ah. I have 8 out of 10. That's pretty good. Oh, hey. Always check little tiny spots, because you never know what's there. I want to see what's back here first. Hey, dude. Save point. Oh, that's probably true. I should probably save. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rogueport. Now that, I told you, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? Hehe, <laughs> I'm so sly. <laughs> sure, buddy. <laughs> Whatever you say. Who are you? Dang, yesterday I blew through a hundred coins at the parlor. You believe that? But not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. That's not how casinos work. This place is a dump. I guarantee you at some point, there's gonna be something in here that's important. Oh. Okay, or there's something kind of cool in here right now. Let me get out of here. Alright, to the save point so I don't have to do all that talking again. Saving. Your progress is saved. We're gonna go this way. Oh. Oops, pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mary, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. What the? That's so lame. Oh, I hate this town. I, I want my coins back. Can I go get them back? Uh, freeze! 
please. You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch! Did you hear? You're not my mom. Oh. Not my mom. <laughs> this is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. <laughs> Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me back a new contact lens. I can. No, look, I'm not letting you into the west part of town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story. I can't cook anything without my contact lenses in it. Ah! <laughs> my rage is so hot right now, I could cook you with it. Uh, uh, man, what a bad day. Lost half my coins. Broke some lady's contact lens. up there. Where did that guy go? Probably went where that lady is blocking off. Can I buy a contact lens here? I'm going to assume that's their mustache and they're not just <laughs> shocked. Welcome, yes, welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. Hey, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait just a moment. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's their mustaches. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I could special order one for you away. Special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Uh, do I need anything? Hmm, probably not right away. Let me up. Always hit save points. It's not like modern games where you have the automatic saving all the time. Hey, hey, you big old rube, I ain't, t I ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go nuts and attack. Be careful, live longer. Are you threatening me? Oh, hey. You're the dick that stole my money. Hehehe, <laughs> I'm pulling another card trick today. I'm making tons of loot. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here, or I'll bunk you. Where's the guy that took my money? Who are you? Hey, my name's Darkly. I like dim places, and now I'm done talking for now. Okay, Darkly. What do these things do? Is there more to this, or is it just me walking in a dead end? That's clever, though. I was just gonna walk towards the wall, and then it... That's cool. Who are you? 
Whoa, whoa, hold up. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail, head of the Robos. No, I didn't get my money back. It's 10 coins to pass through. You try to pass without paying, I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. I'm not paying you. It's really simple. If you don't pay, you don't pass. I don't know where to get it from. Like, I... Hold on. These stupid phone alarms. We're just gonna put you on silent. Cause th this guy. You were in a place you previously thought would be important. Hint, hint. Also. Oh yeah, it's probably that freaking dirt house. Why can't why can't Linoki post clips? Well, I trust Linoki, so there we go. <laughs> Lemon cannot follow instructions. What 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 clip is this? said I thought it would be important so I'm thinking it's this house here yeah there you are you little dude oops uh, fancy meeting you here you're pretty dang persistent buddy what a pain fine 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 okay you got me I'll give you your coins back uh, here thank you give me more coins let me give you a newsflash. Even the innocent looking people in town are thieves. So don't come grumbling to me about losing a little pocket change, okay, buddy? Yeah, I did. Uh, see, I'm... I gotta figure out a better way for Nightbot to do that, because I would like people to be able to post, like, the clip links but the problem being is I don't trust everybody with all the links because you get some random person posting links to go to some other place and then yeah you get the idea alright I got my money back who are you? To power up your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. Welcome to the home of Merlon, a super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Huh? You don't have enough shine sprites. Be gone! Come back with more. Very fair away for the monster to permit the links and or it only deletes the one offending message versus all prior. Oh, it just like nuked you completely? Oh, wow. Wow, it really did. What the hell? Nightbot's awful. Hey, it's the dude. I can't remember your name. Oh, hi. There you are, Professor Frankly. That's his name. What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, uh, uh, yes, you. Now, you, uh... 
I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence! I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goombriel. It's not Eliza Goom. Hmm. Hmm. Aha! I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Well, yes sir, that's me, I'm Goom- Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, yes sir, that's me, I'm Goombella, Junior at you Goom, Goo Goombas! There go. I can't read, guys, like, what do you expect? Of course, I remember you! Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering! You, though. You, though. You stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. Um... I did. Uh... At one point, and then I forgot. And the guy behind you is... Who? <sighs> Need some coffee. Mario, Professor! He's Mario! You know, the famous one? Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you would tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rockport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about you would... Fr I thought if anybody would know anything about you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for the truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the tr legendary treasure truly does exist. I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously the impossible to divine the truth among them. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find, to find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying with the super elderly people passed down? Indeed the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where the where to find the crystal stars. Correct, and the thousand year door is supposedly here beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost, and if only we had that map. But we do have a professor, or well not we exactly, Mario has the magical map. What? Really? You you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Astounding! This is it, the real thing, and the one and the only magical map. You, son, are my hero. What? You're great, fantastic, wonderful, even. With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Man, they're really saying that a lot. Right on, Professor! Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Goombella, Mario, off we must go this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Oh my god, talking. What was A+, plus? I, I must know. What was A+. Plus? I bet you didn't know if this rotten old thing came off, did you? Haha. <laughs> oh yeah. I I totally did. 
We could use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. The buh. <laughs> Oh wait, hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do not know about your action commands, do you? The hell's an action command? We'll have a little practice session, Goombella. You can be Mario's opponent. Oh, is this explaining the A thing? What? Me? Are you nuts? Oh, uh, gee, I'm okay. I'll do my best, I guess. First, we must practice the jump action command, okay, with the both of you? Choose the jump command, then choose which enemy to attack. Alright. When you choose your target, the action command details appear down here. There. There, right there, Mario. Just before you land on your enemy, press A again. You'll know you did it right when nice appears. That way you can do more damage this way. Now it's your turn to attack, Goombella. Shake a leg. Okay, here goes, Mario. Hold up. Right there, Mario. Press A just before your enemy strikes you. You did a guard action command. Guarding will reduce the damage you take. But listen, you can't just repeatedly tap A to guard. That will not work. Oh, and remember this. The action command changes depending on the attack. Better stay on your toes. Anyways, let's practice your hammer action commands. Okay. Hold left and release when lights up. Shoot. Once you choose your enemy, you're going to attack Mario. Tilt and hold left. Keep holding left now. Don't let go. Release as soon as the star appears. Another rousing action command success. How did that feel, Mario? Got a pretty good grasp on action commands now? Excellent. Now for a real treat. I'll teach you a really incredible technique. Goombella, try to attack Mario one more time. You got it, Professor! Freeze right there, Mario. Press B just before the enemy lands an attack. Oh, it's like a parry. See, you turned the foe's attack on him. I mean, her. That's a super guard. If you do a super guard with B and you take no damage and damage your enemy in return. But, super guards are harder to do than standard guards. Choose wisely between them. And that concludes Action Commands 101. Ha ha ha. Sorry, Professor... Professor... Professoral? Professorial? It's a word. Humor. How'd that go? Would you like your practice, your action commands a bit more? No, I got it. I do. I, I didn't even want to learn about this. I already kind of knew. I expect nothing less, Mario. You're a quick learner. You're already a pro, I'm sure. Exactly. Well, I do believe now we're all set for our quest, hmm? So down below we go. Hop onto the pipe, tilt down to enter the pipe. What if I don't want to go down the pipe? All right. We're in the underground. There is a save block. I'm going to take it because that was a ton of talking that I never want to do again. Alright, let's go this way. Hey, hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We'll play real nice. These guys are douches. Man, what a fine looking Goomba. How you doing with the tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute, seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel totally perfect. Now get out of our way! Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody sings us like that, nobody. Let's get him. All right, 
A Goomba, a Spiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the Spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on it and you're the one who will take damage. The Paragoomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach him, but you'll have to jump for him. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always. Sure thing, buddy. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it, Goombella. Don't forget that. Oh, that's good, because I like to know... Yeah, there we go. Give me information. Yeah, that's a Goomba. Um, yeah, I'm one of those in case you hadn't noticed. Ahem, it says here Goombas are underlings of underlings. That's totally rude. Their maximum HP is two. They have an attack power one and defense of zero. Oh, Goomba. You're squished. Oh, I didn't hit that enough time. And I also didn't hit that enough time. Man, I'm really bad at this. That's a spiky boo Goomba. A spiky headed Goomba. What a creative name. That spike is super pointy, so it's better to hit him with a hammer than jump on it. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, defense is 0. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it, duh. Okay, so we hit him with a hammer. Also, Blueberry see I looked in the Pharmatronics, it looks intense. Oh. I must know all the information about these guys. Every last thing. That's a Paragoomba, basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 1, defense is 0. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up and it'll totally plummet. the chat box up because that'll be easier for everybody to see now <laughs> owie yeah take that chumps ha ah, later on losers that felt awesome are you ready mario there are plenty more where they came from and they'll hell have it in for us when they attack try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field Attack su successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, just be sure to thump them as you go into battle. Okay. I can do that. What's this way? Oh, it's a pipe. Uh, do I want to go that way? Stairs here. I'll check out this way first. Worst case scenario, I'm not supposed to go this way. Uh, who are you? What are you doing there? Can't knock that down. What's in here? Oh, who are you, dude? You look like the wizard, so I'll stand over here and talk to you. Aha! Welcome, Mario. I am Mer Lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with my amazing abilities that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Ha ha! So, shall I see something for you? Um... No. Aha! Uh -huh, is that so? Is there's everything anything you want to find? Just ask. Yeah, no. I, I'm good. 
I will stumble my way through this blindly. So I guess the answer is yes, I do want to go this way. Alrighty. No, 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 I gotta attack you. Oh. No, it's just one, though. You're nothing. Three star points. I got 22, so that's, uh, 78 more. Yeah, come here. No. There we go. Oh, that was quick. I'll take it. Ooh, a flower. Nothing here. Feel good mushroom replenishes 5 HP. You got an item! You can use items to attack enemies and replenish your HP. Press start to choo and choose items from your gear screen to see your items. But if I don't want to. Fire flower. Not today, little spiky doy. Boxes. Well, it's not that way, that's for sure. What was that? I'll deal with you guys in a second. about these creatures actually max HP is three attack is one defense is zero the attacks are super swift but it should be pretty easy to give it a he ya he ya man that was fast I'm not getting hit again. Screw you, buddy. Getting closer to a level up. <laughs> fall and get that key yeah black key strange black key but what could it be for um, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say a door I'm pretty sure that's what keys are for okay chests are another option Wow. 
Oh, it's not not the Goomba. Hey, hey, can you hear me? You can? That must be near the Hero of Legend. Only the great Hero of Legend could hear my voice. Yeah, everybody else, nothing. Oh. See, long ago an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been down here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings you, brings a hero like you to a place like this? Are you trying to pick me up? Hey, Barry, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best we, not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh yeah, searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help to find those bad boys. So first you should look for the key to this box and use it to let me out, definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. I already found it. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't my vote go see you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Well, I mean, you keep talking to me like that and stroking my ego and we're just gonna get along fantastically. Whoa, 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 you brought the key. Yes, I owe you. Big. Yes, thanks, thank nothing. Wee who are you? Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you. What do you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little suffering I've endured inside that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse on you. Bugly wuggly woo, you're cursed. Wee hee 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 hee, enjoy that curse sucker. You got what you deserve. You want to hear all about the sweet curse it just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain places, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee hee, trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee hee 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 hee, oh, I can't help but chortle, you're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I'll explain it. I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel now. Now try pressing Y and then bam, you're a paper airplane. The worst part is this curse, you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. So, be honest, isn't this curse just the worst thing ever that's happened to you? Yeah, it's terrible. Wee hee hee hee, if you press B, you might return to normal, maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. Wee hee 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 I don't know, that doesn't sound much like a curse. So, uh, wow, just wow. What was that guy's beef? I can't talk properly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be talking with like a raspy voice for the rest of the day. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, I get it. There we go. Oh, hey, it looks like a door. It looks like the door. Oh, oh, Mario, Goombella, look at that! It's the Thousand Year Door, spoken of in legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come on, let's move closer. What if I don't want to? Hey, what's the deal with the weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, do you think? Uh, it seems like I stand on it.
Ooh. Look at all that. Professor, what's going on? It seems like the map is going to show us where the stars are. I guess that's the first star we're going after. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map, and Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. Sweet Treat. Interesting. Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? Ah. It appears that information related to the location of the crystal stars appeared. And that shining light, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh yeah. Are you going to take us there? Oh, thank God, I don't have to walk all the way back. Hmm, aha, I see. You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. First, uh, firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. But my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move! Yes, it's, well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Yeah, sure, whatever. Excellent, in that case, we'll go outside since this place is a little cramped. First, take a close look at your star power gauge. Okay. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power with me so far? <gasps> Jeez. When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Tooth now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. You don't want to hit the... Oh, this isn't working as great as I thought it would. No, I don't want to hit that. Since you use one power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Take a look. Okay. Even if the gauge empties out though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battles is so very important. If you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean, Mario Goombella. Please try to attack me. Nice, see that? You thrilled your audience so they filled up some of your gauge. Nice, keep building up that star power. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch you fight. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of members in the audience. Yes, I see that. 
My question is, what's with those shine sprites? Mario, this is your chance to hit it big. There we go, now you're gonna explain that. Nail an action command when you have two matching icons and the icon wheels appear. Give it a try. Oh, damn. Fantastic, you match three icons. When you match those icons, the crowd goes nuts and people swarm the theater. Plus, depending on the icons you match up, your HP, FP, or star power will fill up. But, if you get three poison mushrooms, something terrible will happen, so be careful. I don't like that. Still with me, the more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. I hope you memorized all of this. Great Goomba's ghost, Mario. Look at your audience. Does that guy have a hammer? He does. The bum. He means to toss it at you. If the audience members hit you with anything, you'll obviously take damage. You have to press X to stop them before they hit you. That's right, sweet justice. You can press X to protect yourself from the objects the audience throws at you. Of course, fans of yours might toss good stuff like coins. Don't attack them. Well, that's all I've got. Here ends my scantilizing lecture on special moves. Let's go back inside. Ugh, dear. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow, astounding! This map has radar-like functions and now shows the location of the crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found at the place called the Petal Me Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought of that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we know go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travels efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious, where did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach, really. Her Highness sent this to you, Mario. This Princess Peach, this wouldn't be her, would it? Uh, indeed, yes, it would be. So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting invo involved with them. All right, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up with her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask about the Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens to you, if anything happens and you need to some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mary, we're off. Off we go. Down the road. Just wait a moment. Ooh. Mario, it's a scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip the badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing? No, thank you. I'm pretty much good. I'm good, thank you. By the way, you need flower power points to use the power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but your FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to Petal Meadows. 
Yeah, I hope so too. All right, so what little I did play of this before, you just go here and go to all badges and you just do this and then you go like that and there you have your badge clip. It's almost, almost, like I know what I'm doing. Uh, let's go see if they have a contact lens in stock now. No. Uh -oh. There we go. I forgot with the wave bird, if you uh, have a power interruption where it goes off and you're holding left and the light comes back on, it just thinks you're going the opposite direction when you let go of the control stick. Save all game progress up to this point. Hell yes. Now yeah, I gotta check the shop. Contact lens. Oh. Wasn't there... I feel like there was a paper airplane spot somewhere in town. Oh no, that was a boat spot. Paper airplane spot I'm thinking of is down here. I think it was just over here. So what's this way? You look like a blue botanical, so I'm just gonna smack you. Yep. Who just walks up and whacks someone's tootsies like that? I do. Somebody with serious moxie, that's who. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy. He's in a world of hurt. Am I? Or are you the one in a world of hurt? I'll just give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey Mary, you remember what the professor frankly told us, right? Oh, <laughs> not the voice. You can press Y to change our attack order. If HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. <laughs> yeah, you're going in front because I want to know information. That's a blooper and a really super humongous one too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. Gross, gross, gross. Max HP is 12, attack is 1, defense is 0, it attacks with its tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and house. House on that slimy, nasty blooper. House on it. Allow me to house on your tentacle. Hey, mustache, you're thinking I taste good, aren't you? Admit it. Yeah, you want to snack on these tentacles, don't you? Oh, that's... <laughs> no, I'd rather bloop. Cut this punk. I can't seem to get the hang of the blocking. The attacking? No problem. And as I say that, I fail. But the blocking... I 
can do it. Yeah, I'll give him four damage. Six damage, half health. What? No. You can't get back up. There we go. That's right, stay down. 20 star points. No, he did not like that. Oops. Oh, it hurt me. I don't like that. Where does this go? Oh, is this where it was supposed to go? I feel like it was. Chapter one. Indeed. Castle and dragon. Petal Meadows. Well, here we are at the Petal Meadows where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario, the state of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Like save points. See, I remember like small things like this. Don't remember much of the actual game. But like where little tiny tricks are, no problem. Ooh. Whoa, what was that? Oh, is that a wow, Mary look? Yeah, I agree. Totally incredible. I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary too. Weird. Professor Franklin said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy. We just started and already there's intrigue. Come on, Barry, let's go. Yeah, like... Remembering like little tiny tricks of where some things might be hidden is nice. But... Being able to play the game and not remember, like, the story itself so you can kind of replay it and learn it again, it's kind of fun. I curiously threw you. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? When Mario's in danger, causes enemies to sometimes mess. Oh, that's kind of nice. Ha-ha! 
How am I in danger? Oh no! Okay, so the appeal gives you more little star point thingies. info that will help us on our adventure. Oh. I tried. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna do that. No. It appears that that is the edge of the world. What about this way? Ah, there we go. There's something here. Nothing else. Sick. I built a bridge in like five seconds. Oh, hey, and I got a fire flower again. Bonus. Ooh, it's Petalberg. Welcome, travelers. Hmm, where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalberg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we had visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yep, a tea. Once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying through around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon hooktail? That must have been the huge thing we saw earlier, Barrio. So it's called hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. <laughs> so anyway, Green Boots, have you heard anything about these crystal stars? On this quest for them, it's very important. Crystal stars, you say? Hmm, nope. Can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You might want to speak with the old mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. A pink house? A pink house? Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. See, this would be a lot easier if I just remembered that Mario does not talk. Ever. Ever. 
All right, but I think this is a good save point, guys. Uh, we're going to save here, and then next week on Monday, we're going to pick up from here and talk to the mayor, see what is up with this hooktail guy, and hopefully get our first crystal star. But we'll see what happens.